Well, it wasn't the season any Commanders fans were really hoping for heading into the season finale against Dallas. We're not really talking about playoffs or wins right now. Instead, talking more about possible coaching changes and high draft picks. There's one person who's very happy about that, the chief of Prince George's County Police. News Force Juliana Valencia joins us live at National Harbor to explain what's happening there, Juliana. Hey, good morning. You know, this is a winter car wash happening. And let's just say that Chief Aziz, he, uh, he won a bet. And some council members here, including Council Member Harrison, he did not win the bet. You're having to wear a Cowboys jersey. How do you feel right now having to wear this? Disgusting. I'm disappointed. It's terrible, but you have to honor your commitment and then to show our police department, our public safety officials that we are with them. This is just a light moment. We'll get them next year, I'm sure. Get them next year. I mean, can you believe that you're wearing this? Okay, so he is having to wear this because in just a couple of minutes, you're going to be having to wash the chief's car yes. to complete a bet. Because what was he going to have to do if, if the Cowboys had lost? He would have had to wash Vice Chair Sidney Harrison in my car and sing the red of uh, the commander's song and put, you know, while he's washing the car. And we have to do the opposite. Wash his car and the cowboy paraphernalia and sing the cowboy song. I see, I see. So we're still waiting on the chief. The chief is a little late, actually, but we'll show you the whole setup here. So we're going to pan around. Dave's going to show you. So we're actually going to use the fire truck right there. So that's going to be what's going to be used by the council members to wash Chief Aziz's car. This is all happening under the big screen here at National Harbor. Um, a really great day. And it's a, a very lighthearted day. We've been asking um, uh, the council members about kind of the commander's season and how it's been. Um, let's kind of take some of that sound here now. It's a great opportunity to do something different, let our public safety officials see us in another light. And, and all that's going on in our community, specifically in the DMV, we have an opportunity to do something light and enjoy it and let the officers on the street, police, fire, our sheriff, know we are behind them, we support them. And that's what this is all about, a little fun. I'm gonna be honest, it's painful. I'm a diehard Commanders fan, Washington, uh, Washington fan, Burgundy and Gold fan since 1978. And so I, I rock with my team, you know, regardless of what, what we might be going through. Um, there's something about this, this team, when we win, it does something to our region. And so I, I celebrate that, and I remember that as a little kid. Um, and so when the police chief got hired, the first question I asked him, uh, we were sitting all at a table, and I asked him, I said, uh, who's your favorite football team? Because I heard he was from Texas, and he said uh, Dallas Cowboys. So we, uh, we started off on the wrong foot, but either or, um, just, just having fun with this. Okay, and Sidney Harrison, he is back here. You, we just heard your commentary. They just played that sound. But you wanted to add a little bit more about the commanders. What did you want to say? Well, you know, we're standing right here in Prince George's County. We're at National Harbor. It is the waterfront to the DMV region. And we know that uh, the commanders play at FedEx Field right now. It's been the home of the commanders for the last two decades. And so, you know, we just want to express uh, Prince George's County's prime to continue to be the home for the Washington Commanders. And so keep the stadium here, what you're saying. Keep the stadium here. We, we, we love the partnership that the Washington Commanders continues uh, to do with the community right here in Prince George's County. It's a very pivotal and important partnership, but uh, we're excited to continue to work together to make sure that they stay here. Gotcha, Councilmember Harrison. Thank you so much. We heard from Councilmember Hawkins. And in a little bit, we're going to have that car wash happen and the bet be complete. Back to you. I want to see that car wash. All right. Thank you, Juliana.